way to uh, see all these bright and shiny faces here. Uh, you are America. Uh, you are right. What you're coming to talk about. believe and I believe that the Congress is still responsive to the people uh, and we will fix this problem. So I want to, uh, at the Twitter that I was doing this, that's what I was doing when I came in. <laughs> Let all the two people that follow me, <laughs> my wife and stepdaughter, <laughs> at work. But anyway, um, we've got Congressman George Ardonovich here from California. And uh, as we said, I'm the senior Republican on the Committee of Jurisdiction, the Energy Commerce Committee. Uh, I was a conferee when we uh, did the Consumer Product Safety Commission Reauthorization Act and changed the lead content and uh, put some standards in for phthalates and all the stuff. Uh, it's good stuff. Uh, what we didn't do last year was uh, give the Consumer Product Safety Commission the, uh, the flexibility uh, to interpret some of these standards and make some exceptions for small businesses and children's books that were printed before 1980 and all the things that are causing these huge problems. It's not because we didn't try. I don't want, want y'all to just say, well, congressmen are stupid and they knew last year that they just wanted to prove they could be stupid. Um, it's not that way. You know, some of us, some of you would say you don't have to prove it. It's <laughs> axiomatic. But anyway, that's a whole different subject. Some of us on the on the uh, on the conference knew that this was going to be a problem, and we tried to get some flexibility into the act. And for various reasons, uh, the majority of the conference didn't want to do that. So uh, obviously, we've got a problem. And yesterday, Congressman Rodonovich and myself uh, introduced a, uh, a technical corrections bill. And the number is real easy to remember. Write this down. If you're going to, I assume you're going to go out and talk to the congressmen and senators. It's 1815. It's the Battle of New Orleans. You know, 1815. I, I always have to have prompts for me to remember things. So, uh, I remember that old uh, country western song about the Battle of New Orleans. And eight, there you go. See, George remembers it too. So the bill number is 1815. And then... It gives the CPSC the flexibility to grant some exceptions for small businesses and for children's books and things like this uh, for certain um, certain products that have a small amount of lead in them. It doesn't change the lead standard. It doesn't change the, the phthalate standard. It doesn't, do, it doesn't change. It just gives the flexibility to the commission. And in certain cases, it, it, it clarifies the definitions. So this is not a, we're, we're stepping away from children's safety or we're trying to, to gut the act or anything like that. It is purely on point what you're here in Washington, D.C. about today. So um, I'm going to try to get uh, Chairman Waxman, Subcommittee Chairman Bobby Rush, hold a hearing on the bill, let people like yourself come in and testify. Uh, and I'm, I'm very confident that's going to happen. Now, I've, I've got to give you a little, a little bit of a math issue here. Um, you know, we all want to say that we all work together and love each other here in Washington, and that does happen on occasion. Uh, but generically, this is a... Uh, Majority minority panel. And right now the majority is Democrats and the minority is Republicans. Sometimes it's the other way around. The majority sets the rules, the majority sets the agenda. And so I I've got on the committee, George and I have got twenty one other Republicans, and we've got twenty three and thirty six Democrats. So for us to succeed, we can't throw brick bats and our friends on the Democratic side of the aisle. Because they got more votes. Than you. So when you go to a Democratic office, be nice to them, <laughs> hug them, you know, tell them you think they're great. Because most of the time, they are great. And on, on this issue, they want to do the right thing. On the other hand, don't say bad things about George and I. <laughs> Just because we have an R buyer, you know, we have children, we have pets, we love our families. 
pay our taxes. Something, something to do. <laughs> so, so we just we don't want this to be a partisan issue. We want this to be what's right and wrong, what's good for America, good for your businesses, good for our children, good for the safety of America. And if we frame it that way, uh, we'll get this done, and we should be able to get it done this year. So. God bless you for coming. It really is gratifying to see you here. Uh, makes me feel good about what I do. To see you folks willing to, to take time out of your life to come here to, to, to exercise your First Amendment rights and the Bill of Rights to, uh, to uh, address, petition to Congress for redress of your grievances. Uh, and we're going to get this done. Thank you all for coming.